every life form experiences a certain upsurge of energies within themselves. This upsurge of energies can be truly made use of only by those creatures who have their spine erect. If on that night, if you lie down, this means when the energies are trying to move like this, you're kind of obstructing it. It is not only that you lose the benefit, you could also harm yourself in, in a very sensitive way. For every life that's upon this planet, when I say every life, if you are a worm, an insect, a bird, a tree, an animal, particularly if you are a human being, because to benefit, to really benefit, you need a vertical spine. Fortunately, we, the human beings, are the only ones who have attained to this possibility of keeping our spines vertical when we wish to. Those of you who have gone down, wherever you are, time to keep it erect. Because on this day, there is a natural upsurge of energy. Doesn't matter <laughs> what religion you belong to, what culture you belong to, if you have a spine <laughs> and it is vertical, you can immensely benefit. It has something to do with the astronomical face of this planet. This planet is a part of a larger family that we call as the solar system. That is a part of a larger family that we call galaxies, cosmos, whatever names are names. But essentially, there is nothing happening here in an unrelated way. So we understand that at certain times, in certain positions, the planet behaves in a certain way. And we have figured out what faces of the planet are most advantageous to us. Almost every Indian festival is connected to the calendar. What's happening in the solar system? We want to do something which is conducive for what's happening that day in the rest of the solar system. Why this is important is because what you call as my body right now, what is human mechanism is… has come out of this planet. Most people don't get it till you bury them. They think they came from somewhere. No, this body is… solar system is working like a potter's wheel to generate this. So everything that happens to the solar system happens to you in some way. So there is a very keen observation of what is happening in the solar system today. Accordingly, we have crafted one kind of celebration and we do those specific things. So on Mahashivaratri night, to cut it short, on that day, which doesn't fall on the same calendar, you know, the regular modern calendar date, on that day, there is a natural… because, you know, planet is not spinning like this, it is spinning a certain way and there's a precision to the planet. You know what's a precision? Hello? No, not precision in terms of uh, exactness, I'm talking about what is precision in terms of the planet. The planet's axis is not simply rotating like this, it is going like this. It is a wobble, there is a wobble to the planet always. Because of that wobble, it creates a certain kind of situation on the planet. So on that day, especially in the northern hemisphere or only in the northern hemisphere, there is a natural upsurge of energy. There's a natural upsurge of energy, oh, all this energy I don't believe, you don't. Just go sit on the coast. If there is a full moon night, is the ocean rising? Hello? So on your moon day, full moon day, do you see that oh, the very ocean is trying to rise? Well, over two-thirds of your body is water. What makes you think? Body… water inside the body won't rise. All the fluids in the body are also rising in the system. This particular day, after the solstice happens in December, 22nd of December is the winter solstice. After that, the planetary precision is such that there is a natural upsurge on that particular night in a very big way. 
If on that night, if you lie down, this means when the energies are trying to move like this, you're kind of obstructing it. It is not only that you lose the benefit, you could also harm yourself in, in a very sensitive way. All these things matter to you only when you want to be a full-fledged human being. When I say a full-fledged human being, you want every faculty that can be opened up in the human being, you want it to be opened. Not if you are that kind, by evening you're drunk and sleeping, what is there also you want to kill it, that's up to you. But if you want to be a full-fledged human being, you want full-scale everything happening to you, you observe all these small, small changes that happen in the system and take care of that. So you want to sit straight, you want your spine to be erect on that night. When energies are moving upward, you want to help it further go up, not like this. So we created what is called as jhagaran, that means to stay alert and to stay erect. Every life form experiences a certain upsurge of energies within themselves. This upsurge of energies can be truly made use of only by those creatures who have their spine erect. Our fortune of being human is, we are the only species here who have graduated to that level of an erect spine. If you look at the evolutionary development of various species, you will notice that moving from invertebrate to vertebrate is one significant step and another significant step in the evolutionary process is a spine moving from horizontal positions to vertical position. The true development of the brain happened only after the spine became vertical. As on Mahashivaratri night, there is a natural upsurge of energies, keeping the spine vertical throughout the night has immense benefits. It is of great benefit, particularly to those on the spiritual path, but this is also significant for people who are in family situations and also for the ambitious in the world. For those on the spiritual path, for the yogis, this is the day when Shiva transcended all the movement within himself and became utterly, absolutely still. On this day, his third eye opened and his perception blossomed. What we are saying is these two eyes are sense organs. They can show you the physical realities around you. But if you want to see the basis of this reality, if you want to see the subtler reality which is beyond the physicality of nature. If you want to know this, you need another dimension of perception. The dimension of perception, which is beyond the physical, is known as the third eye. So this is the day which facilitates your journey towards the opening of your third eye or a deeper dimension of perception within yourself. It is an opportunity that the planet is supporting you, the system, the larger system is supporting you to move in an upward direction. Please make use of it. To benefit maximum from the upsurge of energies on the night of Mahashivaratri, one can do Mahashivaratri Sadhana, which is designed by Sadhguru to become more receptive to the possibilities of Mahashivaratri and receive Shiva's grace. How to do the sadhana and its guidelines has been explained in a separate video. The link of the video is mentioned in the description of this video.